So now I am telling you that there is a chance that you may find God. What are you willing to risk for that? Poverty, no love in your life, and not even finding God. No meaning, no fulfillment, nothing. You take the risk. I feel like I found God already, and yeah. I've just become reinterested in the dream, the story, yeah. the the personal, like story. Uh, you know. So the. The finding of God usually when we talk about is the remaining in God. It's the remaining in God. It's the finding and remaining. But because just finding and then leaving is as good as not having finding. <laughs> it may be worse. So to find and remain. As you remain, do you find that it is possible to have individual will and individual concern? Did you, or are you the first one to make it happen? That you managed to separate the lane very neatly between the me and God, and you managed to squeeze both of them in to the same lane. <laughs> I doubt very much that any of us can make that happen. You see, and that is the, at the beginning of Satsang, I don't know if you were there, but that's what I was saying. That that is the endeavor for most spiritual seekers that they will be the first one to accomplish this thing where the ego can still remain and can remain while continuing to be in God's life. It feels like I have, there's a, like there's a responsibility to the me it, that's living the life that, that like, um if there was no life uh oh, no dear. opportunity to live a life no. there, there... <laughs> sorry i have to stop you there so please thank you um, me is living a life um which me is this one who is this me that's living this life the the one that I believe myself to be from time to time. Um, oh, what's happening in the life of the caterpillar on your nose? And don't you have a responsibility towards that? You're getting where I'm going with this. A made-up responsibility for a made-up entity doesn't make it real or valuable. Yeah, so sometimes I believe in the story of the me. <laughs> right now you're believing that sometimes you believe in the story of the me. <laughs> yes. This empty, my dear, empty, empty. This is a fresh start. Every moment is a fresh start. Full, full. God is fully here for you. Just let go. Don't worry about what happened in the past. We can only have, if at all, have responsibility for something. You see, we must have it only for an existent one. We cannot have responsibility for a non existent one. And the existent one is just this life itself, God's life, being itself. And that is exactly the responsibility that I'm reminding everyone of. We have let go of our responsibility for the true existent one, for a non-existent entity, just a fictional character. How much, 
understanding and intellect, do we need to remain in God's light? It, there's nothing that that can be done to take you away from the space of God. There is something can be done. So, in the sense that you're absolutely right that in as a fact, nothing can be done. But I've never met someone who can be in the hypnosis of even one thought and that it does not seem to them that they have left God's light. Never met anyone. Just one thought. In the hypnosis of one thought where it does not seem to them that they have left God's light. So satsang is an antidote for the seeming. It is not an antidote for reality because in reality nothing has changed, nothing has ever happened and if you were not suffering from the seeming, if we were not suffering from the seeming, then we would most probably not be here. You see? So it is a, it's a, we have for the seeming, it is the medicine for the seeming, it is the antidote to the seeming alone. You see? Now, as we continue to suffer with the seeming, because we rely on our memory or what we have learned, we may try to try to say that, oh, but in reality nothing has happened. But that is true, but that's not helpful. <laughs> because it's all about fixing uh, what seems to be seems to be true rather than being actually true. So if we were to confine ourselves to only that which is actually true, then there's nothing really to talk about. See, but we are here because uh, we have the seeming problem. <laughs> the problem itself is the seeming. We have a seeming problem. <laughs> the Leela is, is uh, we have a Leela problem, a Maya problem. See? And it is impossible to let go of the Leela problem, the Maya problem, while relying on conceptual knowledge. And that conceptual knowledge may even be about an absolute reality. Mm -hmm. You can try this, no? Open and empty, very naturally, most of us are living in God's life. But try to believe a thought and make it not seem to you that you are limited. It will, it will seem to you. You cannot escape it. That's the design of this play. And of course, so then we are working on solving an unexistent problem. But that concept also is not helpful at this point till we get rid of the seeming problem. The only way to live in God's life is to be empty of me. We cannot do both. Your mind will attack that, will be confused with that, your intellect will hate what I just said. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Those things don't matter. Really? You've seen many in the world today because there's so much reliance on the intellect which is which are trying to make an amalgamation of just according to them the right amount of ego and the right amount of God in their life. You see? It is not going to succeed. Okay. It is not going to succeed. So either that is possible or then the sages were wrong when they said that the lane is too narrow. They can either be me or they can be God. The only way out of the seeming is to let go of 
self will and self concern that is the big fear for that notice that uh, there is an aspect of your being which is untouched by that fear and you have to hold on to that for dear life because if you were to let the fear stop us every time then it's an endless journey Be attached to something that is not going to die. Is that a better one way to put it? Yes, I like that. <laughs> it felt that way when I said it. This may feel better. But also observe the need to always feel good. Thank you. Thank you.